Little Pest is a pretty decent cartoon, and it gets a lot darker than I was expecting at one point. This was released in 1931. It's a Screen Gems scrappy cartoon written and directed by Dick Humor. And unfortunately, I don't know who did the voices in this, and I really want to praise the voice. The voice of Scrappy's brother, Oopy, is fabulous. I just loved listening to this character speak. So if anybody knows... Who does the voice of that character? Please let me know. The information is not currently on IMDb. Scrappy and his dog are about to go fishing and Oopy wants to go along with them. And Scrappy doesn't want Oopy to come along. Obviously, he doesn't want to look after a little child. Well, Scrappy himself is a little child, but a, an even littler child. But Oopy keeps running after him and is determined to tag along and keeps getting in the way. And Scrappy keeps doing kind of mean things to him. Scrappy doesn't come across as the most likable character here. I like Scrappy, but in this particular cartoon... He's not very likable and he does end up doing some pretty, pretty nasty things. And then some fish get involved, which I wasn't expecting. I know it's a fishing cartoon, but the role of the fish in this was not what I anticipated. It's a very unpredictable cartoon and it's rather, for the most part, quite delightful. And I love Oopy. I don't know if Oopy features in many scrappy cartoons, but in this particular one, this is my introduction to Oopy. I really liked the character. I thought he was pretty great. I love the design of the character. As I said, I love the character's voice. I have no idea who does the voice. And the animation of the character was, was wonderful. The animation uh, throughout the entire thing was great. Scrappy looked great. The dog looked great. Not sure if the dog has a name. As I said, I am quite new to Scrappy. I've seen a handful of Scrappy cartoons, but there are, there are quite a lot of them. There are a lot more than I'd expected. And I'm looking forward to watching more. I hope Oopy appears in them. This is a really delightful cartoon. And there's one moment in particular that kind of made me laugh out loud so this is a spoiler for something funny that happens and I'll also spoil the bit that went really dark it's right at the end and it was it was it, it lasted longer than I'd expected which is why it became quite dark so these are spoilers this is all I have left to say about the cartoon if you haven't seen it I definitely recommend it so spoilers from now the bit that genuinely made me laugh out loud and I don't laugh out loud that often is when Oopy is on the end of Scrappy's fishing pole and Scrappy says hello and Oopy says hello in his adorable little voice and Scrappy thinks that there's an echo. So he says, how are you? And instead of echoing it, Oopy replies, I'm all right. The cutest thing ever. Absolutely adorable. And then the darkness. Oopy ends up going into the water and Scrappy waits way longer than he should have done. To rescue him. He's just whistling, looking around for a good couple of seconds, and then eventually he rescues his brother. And for way longer than I'd expected, we think this child is dead. Now, I'd assumed he wasn't going to be dead because it's a, a, a cartoon. They're very rarely that dark. But for quite a while, he is lifeless. He is rigid. He is not moving, not making a sound. At one point, Scrappy is basically flinging him around. He's not holding him properly. And it's a terrible way to treat what we think is a dead baby. And it is it is dark. It's a lot darker than I was expecting. Had it been brief, had he brought him out of the water, pumped his stomach, and immediately he started making noise, it wouldn't have been as dark. But the fact that they really prolonged this, it became almost quite an emotional experience, and I wasn't expecting it. And I think it's very memorable. So all things considered, this is a pretty decent cartoon. Little Pest. It's one that I really thoroughly enjoyed. I absolutely adored Oopy. I wouldn't mind watching this again at some point, and I definitely recommend it.